Hello everyone. I've been thinking about cars and car games, and I've been thinking about the way that cars drive over various surfaces. And I don't mean something like spin tires. I'm talking about a car that just behaves differently depending on whether it's in snow or dirt or on rock. Um, just because a, a small amount of difference there would make a car construction game much more interesting because you'd have to actually take into consideration the terrain you are planning to drive on. So to that end, I've been considering the kinds of decals that I can leave behind a car to try and get the car to uh, realistically seem like it's driving on some other kind of, uh, some specific kind of terrain. Uh, these aren't intended to have any gameplay effect, these are just visual markers uh, left behind the car to give the player some level of understanding and immersion. Here's the most basic one. This is a simple normal map, and you can see that it's flat. It just, at first glance, appears to be not, not flat. This one is a parallax material, and it has a fairly convincing kind of depth to it, but the depth seems to be relative to the camera rather, rather than relative to the normal of the object in question. So you can see that we get these really sharp distortions on the edges. And I'd like to not have that happen. I don't know whether or not my height map is not working right or whether I'm misunderstanding how parallax works, but I can't seem to get Shader Labs parallaxing to continually um, offset by the normal of the object. It always seems to offset by the normal of the camera. These guys here are both the same. I've just moved one of them up off the ground. And you can see that this is actually a mesh distortion. So if I go and pause it and select this, you can see that it's rendering the plane mesh with vert offsets. And that gives a very realistic um, divot effect. It should be noted that these uh, are not reshaping the mesh the mesh is still flat. It's just being rendered with vert, with vert offsets. Um, but in order for that to um, to work, see how I can walk on top of it, the verts are, are still flat. Uh, but in order for this to work, it has to float above the, the, the target, because if I put it where it's supposed to be, it clips through. So I could use this method here if I could get it to not clip through. Um, I would need to have it calculate its Z depth based on the original position of the verts and then draw the verts offset. But I can't seem to find any way to control how it understands the Z buffer. Um, it seems that the vert offset and the Z buffer calculations are uh, done in one pass or are inseparable, at least in ShaderForge. So if you know of any way to make them separate, let me know. I would love to have this solution here. Alternately, I would love to have the parallax solution, but only if I can get it to be relative to the object's normal rather than the camera's normal. Uh, if you know anything about either of these methods, or have a different method in mind, let me know, because uh, I think that it would make a pretty cool way to do a car game on the cheap. 